What's up guys? So I am back and I have a huge apology to make. I just made the the, the dumbest move I could have done. I tried live streaming earlier today, but my phone died. I started live streaming when it was at like 25%, which was, yeah, great idea on my part, not. <laughs> so I do apologize, guys. It was nothing about the Wi-Fi. It's just that my phone died. So I do really apologize about that. But here we are doing this again. But again, I don't have a whole bunch of time. So I'm going to try and just make this about 25 to 30 minutes. So thank you all for joining the live stream. So I guess let's get into it once again. <laughs> So, if you guys didn't go to my first live stream, <laughs> I had the Carnival Racers, got the Easter Bunny, Sajan Korea, Memo Rojas Jr., and JW. So, I know it's kind of random, but I thought it'd be kind of an interesting background. Alright, so first question. What is my favorite new Cars 3 character? My favorite new Cars 3 character might be one of the Demolition Derby cars, like Miss Freighter, most likely. Because, she, like, she just looks so awesome, especially as a diecast. What do you do with all of my extra cars? Well, I have like a, I put them in like a whole line. I like, I basically just have a cars room and then I just line up all my cars in there. So if I have an extra, like, you know, if one of mine gets like really dented and luckily I, I would have like a backup, especially for like Adventures from Radio to Springs. That's really helpful to have, you know, a couple versions of, you know, main characters. So that's cool. All right, here is Carnival Lane McQueen. There you go. Do you like Jurassic Park? Uh, I have seen Jurassic World. I didn't see the original. I think there was two Jurassic Park movies. I might be wrong about that, but I've only seen the Jurassic World, and it was really good, the one with Chris Pratt. I really liked it, but... Yeah, so I might have to just get the other Jurassic Park movies one day. That'd be kind of cool. Hi there, Henry Lott. What color is your cat? She's kind of like a spotted brown and tan color. She's got tan spots, but most of her fur is just brown. Do you have Taco and Sigler? Uh, I have Sigler coming on the way, but I have not bought Taco yet. My favorite version of Carla, probably actually Carnival Carla, right here, because... She's usually one of my favorites from, like, each cup, you know, like the Silver Racers, Carnival Cup, Neon Racers, you know, Ice Racers. So, yeah, it's kind of cool. Because Carla Veloso is usually one of my favorites, which is, which is nice because she's pretty cool. So, if you guys hear a little bit of a commotion, that's just because there's a party going on upstairs and I'm just... Down here, minding my own business, live streaming. So if you hear, like, you know, people laughing or talking, that's what it is. You know, yeah, that would be kind of cool. That would be kind of cool if Mattel made that. I can imagine them kind of making that. It'd be like a small car, kind of like maybe Polly Puddle Jumper. I don't know. Oh, yeah, that last question. What is my favorite Next Gen Racer, I believe it was? My favorite one, probably either... Tim Tridless or Jackson Storm as of now, but as we get more Next Generation Racers as diecasts, then I can make no, a better pick. Hello, Cruise Miss. Very good. How are you? I'm glad you were able to join the live stream. Oh, well, thank you, Bluest. I'm glad you think so. Do you have the accurate variant of Miss Fritter? I do. I got one today. Oh, well, congrats, Pixel Lover 9 I actually did not get the variant, but I really do want it. It looks really good. So, I really hope to get her soon. When is RV getting released? Well, I don't necessarily know that. I mean, I hope, hopefully soon, but I don't imagine him hitting, like, any of, like, of my stores for the next... I don't know, for the next couple months or so. I guess we'll see. I have no clue, but good question. I'm glad some of you were able to do that. So, all right, so we've got four people, three likes, not bad. Will you be streaming still in like 45 minutes? I don't know. I do have a lot more stuff to film besides reviews, so 
I'm not really sure. I'm, I think the tops might be like 30 or 35, but I guess we'll see. Well, usually I get most of my cars on eBay, but like for the first like eight years of my collecting, I got most of mine in stores, but I used to live in California, but now I, I, I've lived in Colorado for about seven years now. And just the stores were very good at, for like the first five years, but now the last two years that I've been living here, the stores have been getting terrible production of cars. Like they get the oldest stuff. It's really annoying. One time I saw like a 2014 Chuck Joke cables there, but I know it's not really that big of a deal, but still, I mean, I don't know. I just wish you got more of the newer stuff, you know, faster. It did get delayed, but I will not be the person to ask that question since I it is not my show. It's Collection TV and RC Cars 5's show. Do you miss California? Do you like Colorado? Honestly, I mean, I had some pretty good friends in California, but I feel like I've made a lot more friends in Colorado. And the ones that I actually still have today, because when I, when I moved here, I was about, I think I was like seven or, or eight years old. So, yeah, that, that was about almost seven years ago. Well, yep, he is supposed to be out, but I... I personally have not found them at any stores as of now. Like I've just told you, my stores are not very good, so I don't imagine them. I imagine finding him anytime soon. Hello, Trav Max Fun Voice Crack. Thanks for joining the live stream. I'm glad some of you were able to get to it. Favorite new Cars Three character. I think uh, probably Miss Fritter. I think Miss Fritter is one of my favorite new ones, but my favorite Cars game, probably Cars Ace Ram or Cars the Video Game. I am 14 years old, Henry Lotz. I do not have any pop cars, but I'm planning to get one maybe soon, like that Fabulous Lightning McQueen one. Oh, well that's good. That's good that you found some stuff. I don't know, I feel like they'll combine Cars 1 and Cars Cars 2 and Cars 3 diecasts, maybe in 2019, because that's kind of what they did in, like, two th like in 2013, I believe. For Cars 2, they combined Cars 2 and Cars 1 diecasts, so I feel like it's two years after the most recent movie gets released, they combine all the other diecasts from all three of the movies, so I kind of feel like that's what they'll do again for Cars 3, but you never know, I could be wrong, so... That would be kind of cool, though. And, oh, yeah, and another thing I do want to mention, what are your guys' thoughts on that plane spinoff that was announced at D23 yesterday? I think that's very interesting, but apparently it is by Disney Toon Studios, which they made Planes and Planes Fire and Rescue, so should be interesting. Hello, Jean Klineski. Thanks for joining. I'm glad seven of you were able to join the live stream. Oh, wow. It's almost ten minutes already. So, yeah, I'll probably make sure this live stream is about half an hour or so. If not, it might be a little bit shorter. But we will just have to see on time because I still got to do my suggestion review on Polly Puddle Jumper. I certainly hope so, Blues. Thank you for believing in me because... I'm really looking forward to hitting 3,000, but I, yeah, I'm, I am I hope to get it by sometime in December, but I guess we'll just have to see. Well, thank you, CarsFan129. I'm very glad you think that. Hello, the Cars reviewer. I'm glad you were able to join the live stream. Do you have a Easter buggy? Yes, he's right here. I think I did him on my Easter special. Yeah, on my Easter special, I did review him. And uh, what, what was your question, Blues? It went away. I know it was like Shannon Spokes or Natalie Certain, right? Is it, Was that your question? Because I, cause I went away before I could see it. If so, I would probably say Natalie Certain. But Chance Spokes only appeared for like a minute in the movie. Well, actually, not even. A couple seconds, really. I would say, yeah, Cal is my favorite over Bobby. R yeah, Rip is definitely one of my favorites, too. Because, you know, he's new and he's, you know, he kind of looks like Francesco. But he's one of my favorite World Grand Prix racers. 
Uh, I would probably say Corey over Shannon. Oh, I, I I would assume so. I mean, I think they at least will make a Chase Reset hauler, Daniel Swervis hauler, Jackson Storm hauler, and I don't know, maybe a Bubba Wheelhouse hauler. I guess we'll just have to see. Only time will tell. Probably the Rusty's Racing Center, Lightning McQueen from Cars 3, or maybe that intro McQueen from like the beginning of Cars 3. I, can, I really like that one, especially the one for the San Diego Comic Con release. That one looks awesome. Oh, thanks for joining Ice Boy. I'm glad, I'm glad you, that you wanted me to stream again. I don't have Taco yet, but I may order him on eBay next week. Uh, yeah, I'll do a review on the Cars game. Liking Cars since I was three. Oh, nice. That's, that's really cool. So you're a long time collector. Hello, Danico Blue 43 I'm glad you were able to join the live stream again after I completely failed at ch charging my phone before I decided to do a live stream. Oh, that, well, that's cool. The Disney Store Taco is pretty, it's pretty cool. I wish I... I, I'm really hoping to get the Mattel taco next week, but I guess we'll have to see. The Well, I really like vloggers, kind of like, you know, like Casey Neistat, and, well, it might be Casey Neistat, not really sure, but, and also Roman Atwood. Roman Atwood is one of my favorite YouTubers of all time, because he's a great vlogger, and just, I, and I think personally, he's one of my favorites. Oh, nice. The Crazy Crasher Mr. Drippy. I'm also, I'm really looking forward to his release, like, from Mattel. I think that'll be great. Hello, Aaron's World of Cars. I'm glad you were able to join the live stream. A Precision Series Cruise. I can see them doing that and maybe in the next year or so. I don't, I don't really know. I think that'd look really cool, though. So, that'd be, that'd be really nice. My my favorite scene from Cars 2, probably probably the part in Radiator Springs. Because, you know, Radiator Springs, you know, it's always, like, it's in the roots, right? So it's nice. Oh, so I'm, oh, that's cool. The Cars reviewer, that's cool that you like Roman Atwood. Yeah, I've, I've only been watching him for about a year and a couple months. I think, like, since April from last year, I think he's... I think he's my favorite vlogger. Favorite and least favorite World Grand Prix racer. Least favorite would probably be... I'm glad I have him right in front of me. Uh, probably Shoot to the Roki. Then my favorite one will probably be... Uh, probably Lightning, actually. I mean, well, yeah, I would probably say Lightning. Oh, I know FoosyTube. Yeah, FoosyTube is pretty cool, too. He's a, he's a good guy. I like watching him as well. Do you think there will be a Cars 4? Yeah, yeah, I could see there being a Cars 4. But if there is one, I'm assuming it won't come out till like, 2023, 2022. Well, I mean, the tuners would have been a nice addition, like, maybe, like, near the end. But... Yeah, it is kind of sad that they didn't appear. I actually really thought they would. I thought they would appear, like, maybe right before the credit scene or something. They'd, like, zoom into town doing something, but I don't know. That'd be kind of cool if they did appear, though. Incredibles 2 News. Are you a fan of Incredibles? Yes, Incredibles It was a great movie. I actually didn't watch it for the first time until I was, like, 9 or 10, really. Like, the full movie. But I'm really looking forward to the second one. I will definitely see that. And that plane spinoff definitely looks really good. I like tell, If you guys want to, tell me your thoughts on that. That was announced at D23 yesterday. Uh, yeah, I believe it was yesterday. But, yeah. Chick or Jackson? I would say Jackson over Chick. I've just got Dr. Damage. That's cool. Are you going to get play sets? Eventually, eventually I will get a play set. Maybe like that Florida 500 one looks awesome. Hopefully, going to get it maybe next week, possibly. I don't know. 
I feel like they're, they're gonna make maybe, like, shorts related to, like, Cars 3 shorts maybe next year. I don't even, like, I don't, I don't really know. I mean, I'm not really good at predicting things very much, but I'm usually wrong when I predict things, so... I mean, I, I, would, I would think they'd still do some stuff, like, between, if there's a Cars 4, I think they'd do stuff in between. I think that'd be really nice, just to keep the excitement going, you know, not just Cars 3 and then seven years later, Cars 4. That would be nice. I do have Timothy Thompson True Coat. Any other toys besides Cars? No, I do not. I do not collect anything else besides Cars. Ah, the you mean all of the Cars 3 racers, that won't happen for a while, because we just have the 2017 poster as of now, and those, most of the next trends that are going to be released this year are some of my favorites, so, I feel like they'll maybe by the end of next year, so maybe like a year and a half, but I guess we'll see. I think Cruz definitely moved to Radio Springs because in the credits scene, you could see that Cruz and all the townies were in Flo's VA Cafe, so I don't know, she seems to be very friendly with the townies, and I think she may actually move to Radio Springs officially. I think that'd be really cool since we could see more of Cruz. Release the stock car next gen Apple races. I think they will. I think they eventually will because I don't think they'll be as rare as the Apple iCar from Cars 1. Sally or Cruz, I would pro Sally. Mm, oh, actually, yeah, definitely Sally. I, for some reason, I was kind of being skeptical for a second there, but I would definitely say Sally because, of course, we know a lot more about her as we've known about... We've known a lot about her since 2006. Oh, I, I bet they eventually will. Eventually, they definitely will. Apple. Oh, yeah, that custom that Jim Scavenger made is pretty cool. I was kind of thinking about getting a custom from him, but, you know. I don't have my Cars 3 racers with me as of now, but hopefully, I think I, I'll probably put them in a live stream maybe next time, but Collection TV is my friend. Incredibles 2 video. Yeah, yeah, that is pretty crazy. My favorite car? That's an extremely hard question. I don't even. Uh, uh, my favorite car? Well, I would probably say Lightning. Since he's the main star of Cars 1 and Cars 3, I would probably say that because. I mean, everyone loves, well, I mean, everyone I know loves Lightning, so. I, I think he's definitely one of the fan favorites. Mr. Drippy or Red? Probably Mr. Drippy. Hello, Miss Fritter, Dr. Damage, RV, Channel Brown. <laughs> oh, that's cool, Cars Fan 129. I might be able to check that out later today if I can. Making videos is definitely very fun, especially when you're really into the hobby. You know, it's definitely something that's really fun and you look forward to doing. Yes, for sure, Blues. You're definitely my friend. To make cars for. I think they will because, you know, I think they could do a little bit more with Lightning Store. I mean, obviously, I feel like by the time Cars 4 comes around, that it will definitely, that lightning will definitely be retired. So I feel like they could do some more stuff, maybe in Radio Springs. I don't really, I don't really know about that. Because, I mean, they did, they did get a lot of stuff squeezed into Cars 3, which is good, but yeah. Yes, you are definitely one of my friends, Danico Blue 43. So are you, Bluest, for sure. You guys are very good friends of mine. I watch a little bit of NASCAR, but <laughs> if it's on TV, I only watch it for a couple minutes, but then I get kind of bored. My favorite and least fa my favorite beginning, my favorite part might be either the training or the Florida 500. I think those are two of my favorite parts because, and also, of course, the Doc Hudson flashbacks. Those are definitely like, those, the Doc Hudson flashbacks were like the best part. 
Oh, yeah, for sure, Blues. That's a good idea because I try to, like, you know, shake it up a little bit, you know, every time I do another live stream. So I have not done the tuners yet, so I'll probably have them, like, right in the middle, like, right here. So that'd be pretty cool. So. Well, car crashes are definitely, you know, like, entertaining to watch. I mean, if you see a car crash, you know, it's like, yeah, you know, definitely piques someone's interest. So I kind of feel the same way, I guess. I, I don't know, I like the Florida 500, it just looks really modern and just so awesome and huge. You know, I really want to see the Florida 500, like, the Florida International Speedway in real life. I actually have never seen a picture of it before. I've heard of it, but I've never actually, like, seen it in real life. What do I think of Cars 3 Driven to Win? I mean, it looks like a good game, but they shouldn't have added the weapons. They really shouldn't have, because that's more of the Cars 2 thing, since it was based off of that. In my opinion, I would think that Cars 2 is better than Cars 3 Driven to Win. Because, I mean, the tracks are really cool and all in Driven to Win, but it's just they shouldn't have added the weapons. And maybe Free Roam would have been kind of cool. Like, you know, in the games between Cars 1 and Cars 2, like Mater National and Racerama, those are really awesome. Yeah, I totally agree, Ice Boy. My next video is going to be... Prob well, actually, no, not Polly Puddle Jumper will be coming out tomorrow, but my Season 4 trailer will be coming out tonight. I just have to fix a couple things upstairs in my car's room, and then I will be able to film it. I think... I No. No, I don't, I don't think they'll ever make a Planes 3. Because, like, I thought, like, in, like, I thought last summer they were going to make a Planes 3, but it never happened. I thought it was going to be, like, delayed, like, a year or two, but I don't know. I'm losing hope. I'm glad you're excited, Danico Blue 43 Oh, my gosh. Ice Boy. <laughs> Boats. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> that would just be too much. I mean, how would they even, everything would have to be, like, a playset. Everything would definitely have to be like some kind of playset, I guess, because <laughs> it'd be really hard to fit in like a deluxe package. Well, I don't, I, we don't know as of now, but I'm hoping it's maybe a next gen hauler like Daniel Suarez or maybe Chase Racelet, something. I guess we'll have to see. Some things you don't have. Well, I don't have the real Apple iCar. I have like a custom one. I think I, yeah, I definitely reviewed it, I think, last year, but I don't have the real one. And I don't have the San Diego, and I don't have the San Diego Comic Con Bathroom Mater as well. I don't have that. And there's actually a whole, I actually have a whole list of every single car I don't have, but it's on my phone, which I'm live streaming on. So I wish I could show it to you guys. And read it off, but it actually would take a, a little bit. But I'm definitely hoping to get every single car I need that have been released before 2017 in the next, like, two years or so. I'm glad RC Zombies 5. That really makes me happy. I'm glad you're, I'm glad you're a big fan of mine. Disney and Pixar's Backpacks coming 2028. Yeah, that'd be funny. How long do you make Adventures from Radio Springs? If you're referring, if you mean like how long is a season or like how long I'm going to do episodes because I'm planning to go up to five or six seasons and then I will probably end the show, but that won't be, a f won't be for a while. I'm really glad, Gene Klineski, I'm glad you like my channel. Do you make stop mo- Oh, so I- I don't publicize my stop motion videos, but I do use this app on my phone called Stop Motion Studio, which I can make some pretty cool stuff out of. I did do a reenactment of the crash that Chick caused in Cars 1 at the Motor Speedway of the South, and it looked pretty good, actually, so maybe I could show it to you guys one day. But, uh, yeah. Alright, so see ya, Bluest. I'm glad you were able to join the live stream for a little bit. I probably will be ending it soon as well. Oh, I would definitely buy it. Oh my gosh, that would be amazing. A next generation Aquastrike racer. I man, I, I think 
it'd be like the colors of M2O Cola. I can imagine like, oh, what's his name? H.J. Hollis. There we go. Yeah, H.J. Hollis. It, I think it'd be like the same colors as him. Like, if 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 it was based off of like my intro or something. Hello, Rusty Sandy Five. Thanks for joining the live stream. I'm glad some of you were able to join it. Car oh, Cars 3 by a little bit. I was kind of thinking it over today because I got that question when I first tried my live stream. But, I mean, they're both really good. You know, there's different areas of both movies that I like better than the other. But I'd say Cars 3 just by a little bit. Because I feel like Cars 3 is a little bit more relatable to, you know the age we're in right now, so, I think, yeah, I definitely like Cars 3 a little bit more. Really, Rusty Sandy 5? Well, I'm glad you've stuck around, because, I mean, I don't really remember, like, having, like, a huge, well, because when I first started YouTube, it took me about, like, two years to get 100 subscribers, and I almost got, like, no comments, and, you know, I'm really, so I never really thought about, you know, flashing back a couple years and just, you know, seeing people saying that they've been here from the start. That definitely makes me happy, so. That makes me very happy. Man, I've had this channel for three years, almost four, so I think in sometime in November, November 11th, I believe, will be my four-year channel anniversary, so. That is in a couple of months. Yep, that is coming up pretty soon. Well, fairly soon. My motivation on starting a YouTube channel. Well, ah, oh man. So, originally I was planning for Aqua Strike to be all about trick shots. Like basketball. And I still do like basketball today. But, I mean, because... Of course, I still loved cars at the time, but I really never thought of, like, you know, reviewing them, you know, until a little bit after my channel started. And I changed the the main focus of my channel really quick after I made it because I made some basketball trick shots on my channel that are actually now private, so I'm, all, I'm the only one that could see them. But, yeah, so me and my friends would spend, like, five hours trying to get some good trick shots those are the good old days but yeah so then I eventually just made my channel just all about cars all about cars every cars five nice Gene Klineski that's really cool I think that's a great idea to make a cars channel because you know posting and making videos is just really fun it's one of my favorite things <laughs> <laughs> Disney and Pixar's tires. Wh who would be in that? Lefty, righty, backy, backy junior? Would those four be in the movie or something? That'd be... <laughs> that'd be funny. What do I think of my first video? First of all, I was definitely very amateur. I'm not saying I'm like some like big professional, but like before, I mean, in one of the videos, I like... <laughs> I, I was yelling for my mom for something. I remember I was watching it like last year. I'm like, did I really do this? Like, I, oh my gosh. It's almost embarrassing for me to talk about, but I was in fifth grade at the time. So, you know, I didn't really, you know, I didn't, I wasn't really like big on YouTube. I didn't really see a lot of like reviews on YouTube and really how to do them. So I, <laughs> I just went with whatever and kind of just went with the flow. But then I got... You know, inspired to keep making videos by people like RC Cars 5 because I actually didn't know him until more more so in 2015 when I actually started watching his channel. But I think he's definitely one of my favorite YouTubers as well. What grade am I in now? Well, I'm going into my high school year on August 10th. So, pretty excited for that. Cars 130, wow. Cars 130, jeez, that's, I, they couldn't even make a, I mean, how would that even be possible? I mean, wow, that's a lot of generations there. What was the first Cars you, YouTuber 
I started watching. At first, I, I think I started watching RC Cars 5, and then, like, a couple weeks later, I think I started watching Collection TV, you know, when he was doing Radio to Springs things. I think I started watching him when he was in, like, Season 3 of that. That's why I started watching him, and I still watch him to this day. So, you know, I kind of started with RC Cars 5 and Collection TV, and that kind of just, you know, sprouted my channel a little bit. But, yeah. Those two are very good friends of mine now. So it's nice I was able to meet them. I would probably say RV over Fair Game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Similar to Toy Story. Yeah, of course. I would say Owen Wilson, but Keith Ferguson did pull off Lightning and Mater National and Car Station Rama very well. But, I mean, obviously we know Owen Wilson, Owen Wilson a lot more, so I feel like he obviously does the job a lot better because he's actually the Lightning McQueen. I would prefer Sigalert over Taco. I think his, you know, patriotic colors just look awesome. Should be coming in the mail uh, this week, so I'm really looking forward to him coming because he's really cool. Yep, RV is awesome. He's my second favorite derby car. Alright, so I'll probably end the live stream in the next five minutes here because I do have to get a lot of a lot more filming done. But thanks everyone for joining so far. Ah, uh, dude. Uh, I would probably I would say RV over Dr. Damage. Animation errors in Cars 3, like the one with King, where they made like that aerial view when Lightning, Kel, and Bobby are going into the pits, and then it looks like King's like some kind of pickup truck. It was really weird. Uh, I don't know what's up with that. Yes, Donico Blue 43 for sure. That was kind of weird because I know he looked completely clean as the Cars 3 release, right? But in fact, wouldn't he be more like the Cars 1 Todd because he's got a bunch of dirt and mud on him? Like, that was kind of weird, like, how his release was. I thought he, he'd actually be released, you know, kind of like the Cars 1 Todd, but I guess not. It was the complete opposite. Um, I'm assuming that day will happen, I don't know, maybe to the end of 2018. I would prefer Lightning over... Well, ah, I, that's actually a good question because, I mean, I really like them both. I think as for now, it'd be a tie, but, I mean, they're both really good characters, and we do know quite a bit about them both now, so that's nice. Bye, Danico Blue 43 Thanks very much for joining the live stream. I really appreciate that. Cars 1 or Cars Race Rama. So, I would probably say... I think it, I might say Cars Race Harama because I mean both of the games are really fun, but you get you get to go to more towns and more cities and stuff, more areas and Cars Race Harama. So that's you know, really the only reason why I like Race Harama better than the first one. But I like all of the video games, but I'm still skeptical on buying Driven to Win because mm, it looks kind of iffy. Well, my favorite villain is probably Chick Hicks or Jackson Storm. Bye, little Luxo. I'm glad you were able to join the live stream. Oh, yeah, yeah, I heard about that. That's kind of cool. I haven't used a Hot Wheels track in a while, but I would really like to try that out someday. That'd be kind of cool because I believe, yeah, because he's like skinny enough, you know, in the new model for him to be able to do that, so. That is nice. Cars, well, yeah, Racerama. Racerama over Cars 1. I believe I already answered that. But, Cars 50. Six, oh my gosh, wow. That's a huge number. <laughs> well, I wonder how, like, if they went up to a Cars 50, how, like, whoa. I don't even, that's like, that makes me speechless. Because I'm just thinking about how futuristic that would look, you know. That would be kind of cool. Well, a Cars to a car, Cars 4. Well, I mean, we don't even know if a Cars 4 is going to come out. but So I guess I would say Cars 2 as of now. But, I mean, if, you know, i got to see the movie, of course. 
Oh, Cars 3. I would I would say Cars 3 over Cars 2. That's okay. Cars 3 a little bit over Cars 1, but not by a lot. I would say the Rusty's Racing Center McQueen just by a little bit, but the blue looks really good on Lightning with the fabulous variation of him. You know, that show was really... <laughs> It's kind of funny, you know. It's just about chick basically roasting, trying to roast lightning the whole time. But I don't I still don't know why he like he cares so much about lightning losing. Like, I don't know. I just find it weird. Can you go it's on DC and PC? Oh, that's cool. Pixar Lover 09. Hopefully I can find that post and we can well, I can check it out because I like watching impressions, you know? Last week I watched this impression of someone doing like 24 Pixar impressions. They did like Woody, Buzz, Cars, all sorts of ones. Doing impressions is actually pretty fun, so I don't know, I might do a live stream where I like do like, it's solely based on me doing impressions one day. I don't know, I don't really know how that would work, but I think I think I could see myself doing that one day, because I think that'd be pretty fun, but yeah. This live stream has been very fun, but I do need to bring this to an end, because like I said before many times, Gotta get some filming done. So, I hope everyone enjoyed the live stream. And and uh, thank you everyone for joining. And I will see you guys for my season 4 trailer. Peace out.